Hi, Tim here from the Music Cell. Uh, I'm back with uh, day 15 of my 30-day uh, vinyl challenge. Yes, I'm halfway through now. And today, I have uh, you know, have uh, six albums. Yes, I've, I've gotten uh, caught up now after uh, the my after being sick earlier in the week uh, with my uh, allergies. Um, just to let you know, uh, uh, for the rest of these, for the rest of the time of this, including some of these today, you'll see uh, more of these. Me showing more of these, where it's like, uh, let me adjust this, um, where it's more like cat lounge and and more pop and stuff like that, uh, because that's what I'm getting down to. Uh, because I've noticed I've. Uh, Listen to a lot of them that I hadn't listened to before uh, since I've moved and stuff. I've been uh, going through my collection a lot more and not uh, slowed down in my uh, buying anyway. Well, with that said, I'm going to start uh, showing you and showing you what I've listened to today and uh, re uh, reviewing the albums. Um, first up, one that I, I got earlier this year. And I just haven't had spun it yet. I'm surprised I hadn't. It's a group that I've liked for a long time. It's uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Cosmos Factory. It's from 1970 on uh, Fantasy Records. Of course, it has... Uh, it, this one's a classic album by them. Of course, it has uh, Traveling Band, uh, Looking Out My Back Door, Run Through the Jungle, and Up Around the Bend, uh, Who Will Stop the Rain, of course, the uh, classic... A cop, or a classic cover of uh, I Heard It Through the Grapevine and uh, I guess I can see the light. There's not a bad song on this full album. So, uh, this uh, is pretty much a must have album for anybody's collection. That's all I can say. It's just a classic album. Next up. One that you don't, that I don't see too often, and I got for less than what it says on the cover. I got it for a dollar or less. I think I got it for less. I think I got it for fifty cents or less. It's Gary Glitter, Glitter. It's from 1972 on Bell Records. This is that, yes, this is the one with Rock and Roll Part Two. It was a big hit on it, and then another hit that was on it is. Uh, I didn't know I loved you till I saw how you rock and roll. I was impressed with this album actually. He does a lot of covers on here, but that uh, that weren't bad. Uh, it also, rock and roll part one I really liked, but the covers he does on here, like uh, "Baby Please Don't Go," the uh, the Wanderer. He also does a cover of uh, Chuck Berry's uh, School Day, Ring Ring Goes a Bell. And also of uh, Richie Valens' Donna. And I was just uh, impressed. I, I was just impressed with his covers there. He does, didn't do too bad of a job with those. And I just thoroughly enjoyed this album. I know I'll, uh, this won't be the last time I'll listen to that. It won't be the last time I listen to this album. I'll be listening to this album or I know that. Next up, like I said, I'll listen to lounge ones at times. This one's a classic example. Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet from 1969 on RCA Records. This is a soundtrack to a movie. It's uh, What It Was Was Love. It's a soundtrack from a movie. It's a classic how it sounds uh, with type music. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's sort of like the type of stuff that's up uh, uh, Chris uh, with Dick's Line Farms type of music. I know he likes sounds music and stuff. He might be like this one. Yeah. See, how I got into uh, to uh, Steve and Dee Dee's music uh, listening to you uh, like Adam Show, the Night Owl Lounge, I can't remember the um, 
the radio station it on. It's on Sunday nights on the radio station of Syracuse, New York. Uh, they it, they stream the station live online. Uh, I I wish they'd have you know, like a, a podcast or something for the for it uh, because this is from uh, nine till ten uh, Central Time, but Eastern Time it would be like uh, ten till eleven, but. He just plays lounge music during that hour. See, it follows that. See, it comes on right after the Wax Museum with Ronnie Dark. But the Night Owl Lounge with uh, Mike Adams wrote, they, he played a song on there with Steve and Dee Dee. Um, and it was a lounge version of uh, that of Black Hole Sun. This was from like the uh, 60s or 70s. Sounded different, but was good. And that got me to listening to their music more, and I picked up that, I picked up some of their albums, but I haven't really listened to them yet. So that was my first time listening to that, and it wasn't bad. It was lounge music and stuff. Like I said, that was a soundtrack to a movie. Next up, it's uh, from uh, 84. Four on Atlantic. It's at uh, Julian Lennon Help a lot. Yes, I heard uh, some songs off here. Uh, this uh, has, of course, has the songs a lot and Too Late for Goodbyes and Say You're Wrong were the hits off this one. And it's a good album from the 80s, of course. He's uh, John Lennon's son. Uh, it's, it's not a bad album. But it's from, like I said, it's from the eighties. It's from eighty four. I enjoyed listening to enjoyed listening to it, and yes, I'll, I'll be keeping this album. I'll listen to it at times. Uh, there's some mellower stuff and some more catchy stuff on here. So yes, I enjoy. I enjoyed it. Okay, this next one. It's another one I got from. Uh, uh, from Mark Dr. Deblack's last uh, December. It's uh, on uh, MCA from 1983. It's a Canadian pressing. It's uh, some early George Strait. Look at how young he is there. It's uh, right or wrong. This has that his country hits. You look uh, so good in love. Right or wrong. And uh, it's all to pieces together. I enjoyed this album. That's uh, like I said, it's early George Strait. Like, thank you guys. Hey, I like classic country, especially like uh, '60s through '80s. And uh, another song I enjoyed off this one is "80 Proof Bottle of uh, Tear Stopper." I know a lot of people that uh, they do that quite a bit, but yes, I enjoyed this album. Now for. The last album is a guy that uh, at the time when this the album came out I could not stand the title song of this album because it was the, the big hit for him because they kept playing it over and over and over on the stations that on the radio uh, where, uh, where I come from originally and uh, I just got just get so sick and tired of it and uh, it, I uh, just and I got this album Several years back, in a group of like four or five hundred albums that I got for free from somebody, and this was just in with them. I had just and listened to it, and I could tolerate the song a little bit. Then there were a couple of songs that one of them sent this album that uh, the one the one that I could tolerate. So the other one I could tolerate some or that I liked some was a minor hit for him didn't make it into the top 40 
to was just outside of it. And another song of his made it into that top 40 that I did, that I liked some. Uh, but it wasn't until earlier this year where on uh, Record Star Day I was in a town that my daughter was going to college at. I went to a small record store. I was just looking through uh, dollar bins and found uh, album of his uh, uh, that was uh, f called from the his uh, early albums for uh, the early years and uh, I decided to throw that album on after I got back home and see this you know, the college was four hours away from home but after I got home I put through that on and thought boy this stuff's pretty good well the artist is Al Stewart the album is Year of the Cat. It's from uh, 1976 on Janus Records. See, I used, I didn't care for Year of the Cat. I got to where I could tolerate it, and now I like it a little better. And I I do like Cop uh, on the Border. Uh, that make it. That made it up to number 42 on the charts. Uh, but this album, it is a good album. It actually is pretty good. But it was this album, the early year set, I, that I said I got earlier this year, a double LP set, that I really enjoy. It really has like his stuff from his like first uh, three or four albums on that one. But this one is pretty good also. I'm, I'm going to be watching for his albums more in my digs. Uh, of course, I, like I said, well, most of my digs are in thrift stores, flea markets, and in dollar bins or bargain bins. But uh, I've gone to, if you haven't listened to much of his music, I'd say uh, check him out. Uh, you might enjoy his music. And but that's how, well, that's all that I have for you today. So until next time, hopefully it will be tomorrow. Hope uh, we've uh, gotten some good uh, weather. We got a good. We had snow this morning when I got up. Uh, we had a good dusting on the ground, and it's supposed to get down into the twenties tonight. So I think that's a means a good freeze. So hopefully that will. Uh, take care of my allergies for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. So, until next time, uh, take it easy and keep on rocking. <laughs>